Hi, I'm Mark Schneider, Orchard Schneider Classics, and uh, John Deere. So, this motor, first thing on it, this motor does run, and I may have overpaid, but this motor does run. And I knew it would run because two years ago, yeah, you're really close. Two years ago, I cleaned this carburetor, and it was running great. Um, as you can tell, this is... As you can tell, there's gunk in the car, but it needs to be cleaned. <laughs> but cleaning a carburetor is easy. The hard part on this is she won't go in gear. But the first thing I'm going to do is just take off the deck. So this is not good for this motor. Very tiny rear end. Really cool how the rear end looks. We need to get this off. So disengage. Belt. Uh, yeah, this, this is the motor deck. Just... Let me get most of the bolts off this array. Just the only reason the transfer has to become fully out is these two little bolts. That's it. Because you can only get into them, and not even fully, and not even well, to a little tiny crevice. And, hey, this is a bad spot for these tiny little bolts. Right. The correct box wrench, wrench, I can't even get in here with it. Dismantle it, just so I can see why reverse ain't. Reverse is working there, so why doesn't it work when it's in there? Because the chain connects the engine and the transmission together, so it's chain driven to the engine, I mean to the transmission, and from the transmission it's pulley driven. Oh no, no, it goes pulley to the transmission. So this drives the gears. Yeah, so it is working. I'll see if at work I can take it apart and clean it. I believe in you. Because it does work. It just doesn't work all the time. Well, at least, though, in the meantime. The motor is loose. 
Well, I can also see once the this is done, of course. Which that's a lot of play. Uh, the frame's cracked here. So this motor's gotta come off. I gotta weld that frame up and then go from there. This motor's not original to this John Deere. That I can tell because of, uh, this is a kill. This is a flywheel brake. That is a kill wire. Uh, the throttle, well, there is no throttle. So, this throttle should be hooked up to this. Which all you would need to do is make a mechanism, a spring that pulls and holds this back. And like whenever this is just let go, or maybe I can disconnect this and just run a pull cable to the straight to that so it pulls it and pushes it. Governor's in there. Carburetor could probably still use a clean up. It's running better and better. It used to not run on its own. I used to have to prime it the whole time. So it's running better. I might have to take the filter off and run uh, some abrasive through it while it's running or pour some abrasive like seafoam is an abrasive pour some abrasive down the gas tank uh, Probably should check the spark plug should pull the flywheel So this motor's got to be pulled off stuff's that got to be done to it. The frame's got to be done to the transmission's got to be done to well The motor and the frame can be done afterwards because we know this motor runs uh, we just got to make sure uh, the transmission does work. It's just not, it doesn't work when it's on here. So I got to figure that out and figure out why that's happening. It might, it might just be, uh, there are synchros on the little thing in a clutch inside that transmission. So if anything's worn out, I'll know. Uh, what I have seen also before is that they get very, very gummy. And uh, it also might be that the shift linkage is a little bit bent. <laughs> Cause this thing's all, this thing's been MacGyvered a couple times. So we'll see confronted out and if this is the end of this video thank you guys for watching this thing runs and drives it's the one well, it doesn't run and it, it did drive forward not reverse which i need to drive reverse and then we got to fix the motor deck linkage and get everything working so i can sell this damn thing this thing why does everything i, I find has been macgyvered or touched in some way or another like I like giving it the old spit shine, make it work, 22, weld it up, and see if it goes as well, but it's hard to sell stuff like that. <laughs> Especially if I can only set the engine to one speed. And all this linkage, uh, I think this is a brake. Yeah, because you can lock the brake here. Pick it up, it's locked. Lock the brake. No brake. Uh, and the other one is a clutch, and the other one is an engagement for the deck. So all that's got to be worked, and then that's just leveling for the deck. That did work. Tubes, so tires will eventually have to come off and go and get tubes, or they might even hold air. I'll see. I'll have to see. Stuff I all got to play with. But sometimes MacGyver stuff is good. That's got a bigger motor than it came with from factory. And. But it, but it's getting dark here, so that's enough for today. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that because the axle, as I can tell now, has been welded. The engine's not original; it's only being held in by two bolts. The motor deck's in rough shape. I don't know. I gotta think what I'm gonna do.